Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to Eastern and Western Bukhari. So today we will talk about understanding poultry and gambit which is one of the most used and favorite uh, protein uh, that we serve around the world. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that most of you love to eat poultry as well. And uh, let's before that, let's we take a look on the composition and structure uh, for the poultry. Uh, the flesh of poultry and bird, uh, gambit is actually muscle tissue. When we're talking about muscle tissue, uh, it comprises is the compound of the uh, of the muscle tissue uh, comprises of the water, which is seventy five percent, protein up to twenty percent, fat uh, up to five percent, and other elements uh, with micro and micronutrients for the micronutrients. So this is actually what compose in the uh, in the in the poultry. So when we're talking about muscle, it consists of uh, the muscle fibers and that helps together from one to another is the connective tissue. So this connective tissue you need to understand if, uh, before you cook because by understanding the connective tissue because every variation of poultry will have a different types of connective tissue, the the, the strength of the connective kind of tissue. So this is something that you need to understand before you cook, in order for you to get the most, the best uh, dish after you cook it. All right. So <clears throat> it also, you know, it, it is all, uh, it is all depends on maturity and the tenderness, uh, which is related to the connective kind of tissue, as I mentioned before. So connective tissue increases with the use of exercise of the muscle and that is well, I mean, poultry, the wild poultry uh, are more, much more uh, tough if compared with breeding uh, in the farm. And maturity or age of the animal of the birds, this is for example, ayam penche, right? <coughs> use of uh, or exercise is, is less concerned in poultry, maturity is a major consideration when selecting uh, poultry. So these are the things that you need to make sure. If you are pref if you are doing something that you are gonna slow cook it for a long time for longer time, you can always go for something that have uh, much, uh, a lot of connective tissue because it will strengthen uh, your protein will not uh, will not break and it will still intact and very presentable of even you cook it in a longer time. So most chicken uh, on the market, uh, now we're talking about free range chicken, eh? uh, produced by a large operation, has you know, uh, carefully controlled environment. So basically if the free range is actually you let the chicken to, I mean, uh, to move around, uh, to do freely, I mean, without, you don't, really uh, control them is let them to move freely in outdoors so more natural uh, into their head more natural and this is actually will give some uh, basic uh, they will give some uh, impact to the to the muscle uh, and also for, it is much more uh, healthier because it is not being jacked with any anything all right so there is no legal definition of free range free range chicken are considerably more expensive than other chickens uh, many people feel free range chicken are more flavorful and worth the extra cost yes because uh, it is something that uh, all right. Uh, the organic defined by USDA as a food produced without using most conventional pesticide, fertilizers, medicine, and ingredients or sewage as such, by generate ionizing radiation. So this is why what free range is all about because they they try to 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 go as natural as it can, yeah? uh, and it's become a trend in the food service to go for organic to go for something that back to nature without uh, interference of any uh, chemical pesticide at all. So, chicken and turkey, 
uh, there are two types of paint, which is light paint and dark paint in poultry. Uh, yeah, light paint is where the where the area which is breast and wings, which less fat, less uh, collective tissue, so it cook faster. So you have less collective tissue, meaning that it is tender, and definitely it cooks faster. So dark paint is a uh, the area of legs, drops it and thigh, it has more fat, more collective tissue, it takes longer to cook. And definitely if you if you cook if you are cooking a dish that uh, that you are using the whole chicken in order for you to you for you to have the knowledge that the food is ready to surface you by looking at the dark meat. Because dark meat is the is the the longest time. Right? It takes longer to cook, so you to make, you have to make sure that it cooks, meaning that the whole the the, the whole chicken uh, in the dish is ready to be served and not raw. So composition structure for light and the uh, light meat and dark meat. So dark goose and squab have all dark meat. So the the same differences is the connective tissue hold through breast muscle have more myoglobin alright <clears throat> and this are darker so myoglobin why is myoglobin is a protein that stores oxygen for muscle to use during periods of great activity so that color of dark meat is due to myoglobin myoglobin so breast muscle of birds are used for flying chicken tickets rarely if ever fly therefore the muscle do not need a great deal of myoglobin all right so that is the reason why it looks dark cooking the whole birds is a major problem in roasted poultry uh, the legs to the darkness without overcooking the breast so since that the chicken the poultry yeah, the legs is a dark meat the breast is a light uh, light is a light meat uh, so you need to have this kind of skill understanding on how to make sure that when the dark meat is cooked you will not let the light meat to dry all right so recipe take into account the different cooking characteristics of each part to make sure that this is come when you want to uh, yeah if you want to cook the whole bird you need skills and technique to make sure everything is perfectly cooked and juicy but if you want to to create uh, recipes please try to use the same type of meat to make sure that you can always get the perfect uh, proteins cook yeah uh, most popular and widely eaten the chicken in the world which is inexpensive and readily available Contain both uh, light and dark meat, uh, relatively lean and available fresh or frozen in variety of form, extremely versatile. Which is that is the reason why chicken is always one of the most favorite uh, protein uh, poultry uh, used in the world. Yeah, uh, <coughs> and let's take a chicken classes. Uh, for the game hen, is five to six weeks old. Uh, for the broiler fry is 13 weeks old, roasted 3 to 5 months old, capon under 8 months old, hen and stewing is over 10 months old. So if you want to purchase poultry, always you can go for fresh or frozen, which is available in the market, whole or cut up according to whatever the preferences, and bone in or boneless, it, it depends, it will faster your operation by having this variety of which is make people uh, to ease people's operation individually cook quick frozen also available ground and prepared the convenience item so handling storage fresh poultry it should be arrived in the vacuum pack it's supposed to be in the vacuum pack because uh, it's extremely perishable and kept in ice remember that we can we need to control the temperature as i mentioned in the previous slide Ideally, use poultry within 24 hours of receiving. Then we'll hold it for more than four days. Poultry often carries salmonella bacteria. That is the reason why we need to uh, to make sure that this and when you cook chicken, you should be fully cooked, 
right? Wash all equipment and cutting surfaces of a headache, possibly to avoid contamination of other food. So headache and storage should be 0 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius all over until it's ready to be thawed. So thaw in original wrapper in the refrigerator. Remember that we have three types of towing, star, uh, towing method in the refrigerator. You can always microwave and you can always run the water. And try not to do not refreeze thawed poultry because it always can lead to food poisoning. So large roasted bird, we the problem is the doneness. So you have to make sure that internal temperature reach uh, the cook uh, the the optimum uh, temperature uh, to be to cook it, and it's the most secure guy. Uh, can you always use thermometer? The thermometer should be inserted at the thickest part of the inner part of the tie. The tie do not touch the bone. It should be in a flash. All right. And uh, so the safe internal temperature for the whole poultry is 74 degrees Celsius. And more usual practice is to aim for a final temperature of 82 degrees Celsius. So smaller but when cooked by animated dunnets is determined by loose, loose looseness of the joint. The legs are more freely in the so in its sockets and clear juice. Alright? Then, uh, when cooked by animated dunnets is determined by flesh separating from the bone. It applies to all to all proteins. Eh? Must because glass begins to put away from the bones. Uh, excessively shrunken. Yeah, it's shrunken flesh means it's overcooked and dry. So you need to understand uh, how long and how to control it in order for you not to get dry uh, output. Uh, dry end products. Eh? Firmness to touch it, you have to use your finger and pressure, give some pressure as you would to the stick. Okay, this method is uh, useful for sorted uh, boneless chicken breast. Yeah, because sometimes uh, when you are doing, uh, you are sorted the boneless chicken breast, it can be overcooked or undercooked. So by using the pressure, finger, finger pressure, you can uh, you can determine the, uh, the firmness of it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for your attention. And looking forward to share you later on and how to fabricate the whole chicken. And I'm going to show you one of the most flavorful and celebrated dish uh, from Melly Cuisine, which is Masala Machilapi. See you.